Hey guys, welcome back to another video and uh, sorry it's been eight months since I've uh, uploaded or posted on here. Uh, you know, I've been stupid busy with work and YouTube's kind of just slipped my mind with things to do. But anyways, today's video I wanted to show you a cool little upgrade that I did to my truck. It's an 06 F-150. Let's roll these windows up. Alright, so I have an 06 F-150, but this should be the same for almost any... 2000s Ford vehicle that uses this style key with this style fob. What's the upgrade you ask? This switchblade key that the newer model Fords have. Now why did I do that? Well simply I was getting tired of carrying around that key that fob for the keyless entry and this for my command start the uh, lock and unlock buttons don't do anything on my command start don't know why honestly was too lazy to figure it out it's probably because I didn't hook it up honestly I just needed the ignition to work so I could start it up at minus 40 but this key fob is off Amazon costs $30 a switch blade it was four dollars to get cut at Canadian Tire most home hardware stores will cut your keys roughly the same price and then programming this because it's one of those chipped keys if you wanted to you could get a locksmith or Canadian Tire or a parts store that does uh, transponder keys you could just get them to clone one of your keys so the IDs would be the same now, these Fords allow you to have up to four different uh, or four separate IDs on their chips. So I've got these two keys. I've got this key. And now I've got this key. Each one of them all has its own frequency or not frequency. has its own identification number or code that the computer picks up on. The reason I did that is, well, I was dumb one day and I didn't have the master key when I bought this truck. I had two keys, but neither of them were programmed as the master in the, in the computer. So when I accessed my security module one day with the scan tool, uh, as I went to exit the scan mo or the, the security module with the scan tool, the computer asked me to insert master key into ignition to complete the process. I then inserted my secondary key. Didn't think much of it. Turned out it wasn't the master key and it completely locked me out of the security system. So at the shop I work at, we can't program keys or do anything like that. So I had a mobile locksmith come out, cut me another key, and he programmed this one as the master. Crappy little key, but it usually stays hung up at home in the key lock box. This is only so when I need the security module, I have the master key at least. And then uh, this guy is a secondary key along with this key and this key. Now this fob is programmed, locks my doors, unlocks my doors, locks my doors, unlocks my doors. I'm gonna flip this camera around for a second gonna insert the key just to show you it really does start the truck there trucks running there we go so now I'll talk about programming I could have gotten a locksmith like I said to clone one of these IDs as another key I felt like having four different IDs in the computer the way you program is you insert the key and to do the fob you go on off on off on off you repeat that process uh, eight times within 10 seconds on the eighth time the door locks are going to cycle and then at that point you hit the lock button on every remote that you want programmed to this system to program the ignition key as another ID what you do is you take your master key and you insert it into the ignition. You turn the ignition from off to on 10 times. 
and then you turn the system off. And then you take any other working separate chipped ID keys, insert from off to on 10 times, turn the system off, and then within three seconds, you have to insert your new cut key that's not programmed and turn the ignition on. Wait until the security light goes out. Then off, pull out, wait 10 seconds, insert the key again and it's programmed, it'll start the truck. Now, this eliminates all of this because my, my command start allows me to use my fob to start my, my truck. And so to do that, all I gotta do is hit the lock button three times. Now the way mine works is I have a CompuStar remote start and it has a uh, security immobilizer that when the command start is activated, it sends the same signal as the master key. So there's a clone of this guy and it sends that master key signal through a immobilizer. So doors are unlocked right now. So we go lock, lock. And that'll work. To shut the system off, it's as simple as lock, lock. Did I not hold long enough? Lock, lock. There we go. Just didn't hold it long enough there. So that's basically a nice little upgrade. So all you need to carry around with you is this. Anyways, short video. That was probably drawn out longer than it needs to be. Anyways, if you guys like this video, leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, leave me a thumbs down. Want to bash on me? Leave that down in the little right box down there. Every little thing helps with, uh, with YouTube's algorithm. Anyways, catch you in another eight months.